Hi, welcome to another episode of Zen with Insight. This is Kelvin. Now, last year, 2021, we saw the pandemic continue to wreak havoc around the world. Singapore introduced a new acronym called the uh, Heightened Alert. Exciting for some, but depressing for most. Now, what happened to the real estate rental market, which I'm going to talk to you today about? Last year, um, despite the excitement or the depression in the market itself, the numbers has actually shot up. It, in 2019 or 2020, it was at 92,000 units transacted for rental in the private residential space. But in 2021, we saw a total of 96,000 transacted. That's almost a 4,000 units extra being transacted. The MOM reported 177,100 uh, EP holders in Singapore in 2020. And by 2021 June, which was the latest number they reported, was 166,900. Now, with, with a drop in employment pass holders, we still witness a spike up in terms of rental numbers from 92 to 96, about 4,000 increase. Why is that so? And what's driving the market? Now, I'll share with you all a little bit more of uh, even prices drove up. According to uh, the URA Rental Price Index for Core Central Region, in, on the fourth quarter of 2020, it was at 101.6. Now, by December of 2021, the fourth quarter results came out at 111.6. Now, that's a 10% hike. What does it mean? Prices are going up for rental units in the core central region. Now, I dissected it a little bit more just to give you a, a, a flavor of it now in for rental numbers in district 9 just a simple two bader blended average monthly rental by the fourth quarter of 2021 it was at four thousand five hundred and seventy two dollars and one year before that it was only at four thousand and eighty three dollars now that's a 11.98 percent up moving forward we go into district Nine again, same district. These are the core central region district. Three beta, 6,223 in Q4 of 21. And the Q1, the beginning of the year, it was at 5,768. And that's a 7.89% jump. Prices are going up or shooting through the roof. Why is that so? Now, I, I share you a little bit more. Blended, though just... Because we have looked at District 9, let's look at District 10, which is again in the same uh, core central region. Again, prices from December of 2020, the blended average monthly rental prices for three beta in District 10, it was at 5,439. It went up by 9.49% to 5,955 by the end of December 2021. We look a little bit down, narrow it down further to the prime prime of Singapore, of uh, District 10, three beta in uh, range, for example, in the, the Anderson Road area, the Nassim area. And a typical start of the year for January 2021, the unit was a three beta unit in the, those areas. We're going for 7,000. 226 on a blended average. Now by the year end, it shot up by 11.15% to $8,032. It goes the same for four beta and in a prime prime area of a four beta uh, in District 10, it in this September, just September alone of 2021, it was at $11,818 for a four beta average. And by December, a short three months period, it shot up to, uh, three months later, it shot up to by 16.7% to close the year at 13,787. Wow, this is 
hot market. Some of uh, the agents out there will be telling you it's very, very fast, rampant take-up rate. It's true. We are seeing that right now. And, and why is that so? A lot of people are asking, hey, we, the market pandemic, we should see a, a, a fall. One key reason would be projects that are supposed to be TOP'd in 2021 failed to deliver. That's one. Second, those people who are staying in the smaller units, the tenants who are staying in the smaller units, two one beta, they would they would upgrade to a two beta because they are working from home most of the time. If one single room and you have two persons staying inside, it's definitely uncomfortable. You have you have to have space for your work. Now again, the two beta move to a three beta and so forth. Now, this is what I call a musical chair. People already in Singapore, they are moving around to take up the space for their own work, to use the space. They can't stay in a family of three, cannot be staying in a three-bader. And with the kids work, uh, studying at home, they want a slightly larger space. Now, this is only from the expat's point. Now, Singaporeans also last year, they could have taken advantage of selling their home that's the third point singaporeans selling their homes and then moving into a rental unit that could be another reason the fourth reason likely reason would be singaporeans currently staying in a three beta with five people in the apartment found it a squeeze they're moving into a larger unit a larger three bedroom unit or a larger four bedroom unit so Singaporeans are also coming into the rental market to bid for a space for themselves. Now, this is nothing unusual. The pandemic has actually altered the behaviour of many people. So to me, this is to be expected. So what do we see moving forward into the 2022 space? Um, if you ask me straight up, I'll tell you it's still the landlord's market. The market is opening up, the borders are opening up, people are coming to Singapore. I think moving forward, you'll see another 5 to 10% spike in terms of rental prices. The take up rate would have gone up through the roof. Transaction numbers, we are expecting in the higher range of 106,000 uh, units being taken out, residential units being taken out and uh, prices would be the landlord calling the shots. So that's all for now. Thank you.